welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be making windows 11 super fast with the chris titus tool for absolutely free so i've already tested this tool on multiple windows 11 machine and trust me guys it really make a difference and speed up your windows 11 performance and speed so if you are tired of the slow performance lagging or any kind of stuttering no matter you're doing gaming video editing or even any kind of work on your windows 11 machine then you must apply this tool settings that will be surely making the difference and before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your laptop and pc problem okay so right now i'm on a regular windows 11 machine and if i bring up the task manager so that i can show you the performance as of now so if i go to the performance section and the cpu you can see the process count is around 131 the threads is around 1200 and the handle is around 50,000. and you can see the memory usage is around 30 percent and this is exactly what we will be optimizing and i will show you the difference after optimizing so that you can understand that what kind of difference has been created okay so in order to apply the tweak what you will have to do click on your windows search type powershell right click on the windows powershell click run as admin click on yes now here you have to type a single command that you will be getting in the description so you can copy and make a right click here and it will be automatically pasted now it will run for a few seconds and then finally it will give you this kind of tool dashboard so here you get different kind of categories like install tweaks config update and micro win that is a new feature which has been added to create a custom deep loaded copy of windows 10 or windows 11. okay so in this video we will be discussing about the tweak so you will have to click on the tweak section here and on the top you will find some recommended selection for desktop laptop so depending you are using a desktop or laptop you will have to click on it and then below here you get different kind of categories like essential tweak advanced tweak customize preferences and performance plan so let's start with the essential tweak now here very first option you get create a restore point so i would recommend you that you should grow and create a restore point in case if anything goes wrong or it doesn't work for you then you can revert the action then you have run oh shut up you have to give this check disable telemetry you have to give this check disable wi-fi sense you can keep this checked activity history you can disable it delete temporary file run disk cleanup you have to check both these option disable location tracking you have to keep this checked disable home group you have to keep this checked disable storage sense now i won't recommend you to disable it now if you're not sure what exactly it is now when you make a right click on a windows icon go to settings in the system when you go to the storage section and here in the storage management you get the storage sense option and what exactly it does it automatically free up a space by deleting the temporary file and other kind of junk file during a specific period of time okay so this is a really useful feature so i won't recommend you to disable it so you can just uncheck this option disable hibernation if you want to disable it then you can disable it game dvr it's really recommended if you want to enjoy the gaming then disable it and then you can just keep other option checked now in the advanced tweak i won't recommend you to touch these four options at the top okay keep this unchecked until you are not sure what exactly it is then you have few more options like remove all ms store application now it's not recommended uh, that you should delete or remove any kind of microsoft store application then you have microsoft edge if you want to remove microsoft edge like me then you can check this option then remove onedrive yes i will remove it set classic right click context menu now this is a really a useful feature if you have noticed on windows 11 when you make a right click on any particular application or on your desktop you see this kind of new context menu which majority of the people don't like and every time you have to click on show more option to display all the other options right and if you want to bring up back the old context menu of windows 10 then you can check this option then you have enable ip version 6 disable ip version 6 and i would disable it 
Now on the right hand side, you get customized preferences. Dark theme, if you want to enable, you can enable it. Bing search in the start menu. So when you click on your search box, you get the Bing recommendation. And if you want to disable it, then you can disable it. Show file extension. Uh, I want to recommend you to disable it. A snap assist fly out, keep it to enable. Mouse acceleration. If you really want to enjoy the gaming, then you can disable it. A sticky keys, you can disable it. Performance plan. Now, if you want to enjoy the ultimate power plan, then you can go and check this option. Let me show you if I bring up the power cfg.cpl. So by default, this power plan are being selected to balanced or power saver. But if you really want to enjoy the performance, then either you have to keep this selected to high performance or ultimate performance. Now you won't find the ultimate performance option on your end. So if you want to enable this option, then you have to click on it, add and activate ultimate performance profile. And now once you are done, simply you will have to click on run to X. And this kind of PowerShell window will be up and it will start working on the process that you have selected. And you also need to be in front of the computer in case if it asks you for any kind of permission. Okay, so once all the tweak will be completed, you will be getting this message tweaks are being finished. So now simply you will have to go ahead and restart the computer. All right, so the computer has been restarted. Now let me go ahead and sign into my account. Bingo, so the desktop is up now. And this time if I bring up the task manager, and let's see what kind of difference has been made. Now here you can see the process count has been reduced from 132 to 73. That is almost half. The thread count is around 1349. The handle that was around 50,000. Now it's been reduced to 38, 39,000. Okay, so that's a huge difference. And now of course, when you will be enjoying your Windows 11, you will find the much difference and the slow performance and lagging issues will be surely fixed. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.